Hi, Cancer. Welcome back to your weekly reading for the week of <clears throat> October 1st through the 7th, 8th, 9th, around there. <clears throat> this is your weekly tarot and oracle card reading from Born Without Boundaries. Welcome to those of you who are just arriving to my channel. My name is Michelle, and I invite you to please click subscribe and also ring that bell so you know when I upload content and when I go live. For those of you who are on platforms that allow commercial breaks, you will be getting a commercial break in a couple of seconds. Let me take this time right now to say thank you so much because whether you know it or not, it is a contribution to the channel that keeps the channel running and I appreciate you and your patience. So give me about 30 seconds to a minute and I'll be right back. Now. For those of you who just sat through an awkward pause because you don't have to sit through commercials, <laughs> okay, thank you so much. And for those of you who have actually sat through a commercial, I hope you took the time to like go get yourself some snacks, maybe take a pee, whatever you needed to do. I appreciate you. I just wanted to let you know that. Let's get into the reading. These are the general energies for the zodiac sign of Cancer for October 1st through the 7th, 2019. Cancerians, I love you guys. My tribe. You see what I'm wearing? I'm wearing my my water shirt. You could see. Ooh. It is. It's, 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 it's water themed. It's beachy. So, Cancerian, this is your general predictions. Ooh, overcome any obstacle. Yes. <laughs> I know this is where I become you and I have a hard time being the reader overcome any obstacle this is a good card to come out I'm not gonna say much about this card I want to read too much into this card but this is a little bit of uh, I don't know badass that we could be the same we could be very, very tenacious and not give up. And we may not move quickly, but we keep moving. We move continuously. What we don't make up, what we don't, what we lack in speed, we make up for in continuity. That's all I'm going to say for right now. Just for right now. I'm going to get some more cards out. But basically, <laughs> I don't think, in other words, this isn't even necessarily something that, oh, Cancerian has triumphed. No, Cancerian is got their badass on this week and they're not giving up and they're basically deciding on our own victory because we're just not going to not believe we're just we just refuse to not believe that we can succeed basically in our mind we've already succeeded like that's it the success is here phone I apologize the success is here because we're going to make it so that's right make it so cancer make it so and that's what we're doing we're just blasting through and do you see how oh, I love the wreaths the festooning the the beautiful wreaths of basically saying to basically us garnishing ourselves and say we deserve it I'm beautiful I deserve it I believe in me. And with that kind of momentum, Cancer, there is really nothing that we can, can't accomplish. Because if there's one weakness in us, it's emotional. It's us not being able to contain our emotions, not being able to accept our emotions, trying to mirror other people's emotions so that we're accepted, yada, 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 yada. This wreath is telling me that this week, we're more than happy to be ourselves. We're more than happy to stand by ourselves. And when we do that, there really isn't anything we can't accomplish. And this is it. This is basically people, I'm telling you right now, people have been giving us shit. People have been giving us a whole load of boatload crap, refusing us, denying us, walking away from us, turning offers down, not hiring us, yada, 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 yada. This is the breakthrough. We have basically decided, fuck that. That's not what I'm going to accept. And you just keep moving forward. And because of that, you're finally getting into a place where, yes, you are succeeding. You just, you just refuse to not succeed this week. That's the mentality. Spirit has a plan. So, Cancerian, this is definitely a message from the big old Buddha. It's almost like 
focus and balance and stability absolutely but koala hangs out in the top of the trees right he's not he doesn't hang out on the bottom so he sees things from a higher perspective and this higher perspective is almost like that gps directional boop boop Boop, saying this is where you go this is where you head and it's like we this these antenna these horns on the rhino it's almost like we're connected right to the spirit we have literally just clicked into the right dial at the right station and we are listening directly from spirit and that's why we don't give a flying fuck about what people are saying around us we're just going to be ourselves and keep moving forward why because we've tuned into you know 99.9 .9 spirit 100 okay like that that's what we have checked into, like tuned into this week. And that's all we're tuned into. We're tuned into that bigger picture. We're tuned into that larger purpose. We're tuned into our own purpose and feeling good about ourselves. But understand also, Cancerian, this is divine guidance. This is spirit being on your side. It's, it's essentially this encouragement that you need to know that the direction that you that you're going is the right direction and this is receiving that but that's uh, oh, so many things so many things it's like so exciting um this is spirit directing you you know you not not getting in the way of spirit but going the way of spirit going the way of your intuition going the way of your higher thought processes going the way of what like your internal guidance system i just saw my my messenger birds fly above my head this is like message it's like you've received the message and you're driving it forward you're not just you're it's this unity, it's this loop, it's this like, it's this if infinity loop. Yes, it's because of your tenacity and forward movement that, that, that spirit is approving of you and on your side, but it's also you tuning into spirit and connecting with that higher message that you know the direction to go. And it's all, it's like, it doesn't, this is timeless. It doesn't have a time. It doesn't have what came first, the chicken or the egg. It doesn't matter. What matters is they're both in sync and they're both having at the same time. Hot damn. Okay. Believe in yourself, Cancerian. So this week, fuck what everybody else says. Because we, we got the power. You know, this is what, you know, like I can hear that CNC music Patrick, like playing in my head. We have built and practiced and, and practiced patience. We have not given up on something. Now, we may have given up on a lot of things, but this would be the thing that we have not given up on. And what it implies is that we didn't give up on ourselves. We are feeling really good about who we are this week. Even if other people aren't feeling good, it's not going to exhaust us, make us doubt ourselves, or make us deny our own potential. We are, we are investing in our future, investing in us, we, we, we are on our own side this week, Cancer. And why? Because somehow we know that we're not alone. Even if physically we, we, we're alone, we, we know that somehow we're not alone. This is that eternal faith, somebody really believing in us unconditionally. Um, now, this could be somebody that you have in your life, but it also, I think, more is us connecting with just that understanding that yes, we are loved, we are accepted, we are believed in. Like we know, we don't even need a name. We don't need a name, we don't need a face. We just know that it's real and because it's real, we believe in ourselves. Ooh, god damn. Ooh, we are, this is off the hook. So mm, essentially, believe in yourself. We, we may be little, but we are mighty. And we are not willing to let anybody tell us any differently this week. This is a breakthrough. Be at home. Oh, Cancerian, this could not have been, ooh, this could not have been a more perfect card for us. This is us. This is our card. This is, we are the energy and the spirit of home. I feel like this is a breakthrough with something that we've worked on a really, like, give me a second. Give me a second. Somebody is coming home to us. We have built the homestead. We have built the homestead. We have built 
the environment, we have built the atmosphere, we have built the feeling, brick by brick, little by little, we have saved up, we have done the work, and people are now noticing it and acknowledging it for the beautiful thing that it is. Not treating it like it's boring, but revering it the way that it needs to be revered. We, somebody is coming home to us. I keep hearing that. Somebody is coming home to us. Somebody is coming home to us. Somebody is coming back home. This could be somebody that, I don't, I don't know, I don't like, that's all I can think of right now. Somebody is coming home. Be at home. Cancer, stay close to your house this week. Stay close to where you're from. Now, home doesn't have to be, home is where the heart is, okay? And this is what it's speaking to, your heart. Your heart, that's, you are in your heart space this week. And then that could be what's getting you in the zone to drive things forward. And, and because you have found that heart space, you don't have any doubts in terms of the direction or your value or the fact that you'll succeed. But oh my God, the places you will go, the places you will go are home. You will go home. Your heart is here. Your heart is home. Everywhere is home. You are, you, it's almost like you're, you're, you're taking your home with you wherever you go. It, in other words, what I'm saying is you're the, you're the magic, Cancerian. You're, you're the home for somebody. Somebody is returning back to you. And it's, listen, it's not like you've been sitting there waiting for them, which sounds like a Cancerian thing to do, but you haven't. You haven't. It, you have just gone on and tenaciously continued to build and live in your truth and break down boundaries, break down barriers, break through walls and achieve and accomplish. You have literally continued to work. This is long-term work. Cancerian, this is something that you, look at, you don't plant a seed one day and get an oak tree, right? You get an oak tree after many, many years. Well, little squirrel knows that. Okay, little squirrel knows that. And he has collected all of his nuts. He was smart. This could also be a Virgo card too. You could be reuniting with a Virgo. They could be coming back home to you or you could be going back home to them. You could be finding your home in them. You could be connecting with them because this is also a very Virgo energy, but it's also a Cancerian energy because it's an establishment of a home. Deciding that where you belong really is with um, this person, this person with these values. It doesn't have to be a Virgo, but it's a person with the values, a very Virgo in, in nature in that they want to nurture, they want to care for. They want to build, they want to reliably and dependably, like home is what matters to them. You know, it's like family is what matters to them. Making sure that you have the nuts to go through the winter. This is, this is making the smart decisions now to have what you will have, to have the abundance and prosperity and have everything that you need in the future. But I feel there's a sense of coming full circle. So it's almost like finally somebody has realized where their true home is and where they really belong. I'm gonna keep pulling cards, but I just don't think there's better news for a cancer. <laughs> um, it's like in, in terms of esoterically speaking, more philosophically speaking, it's people realizing that cancer, your home, your true north. And we really are, we're the north node right now, that we're true north. And people gotta stop dissing on us and pretending like we don't exist, that, that we actually have the message that people want to listen to. That's that we, we, we've got the power. We've got the goods and it's people's recognition of that coming back to us, coming back to the fourth house, coming back to what makes them feel comfortable, what makes them feel loved, what makes them feel worthy and realizing just how special that is instead of pissing and shitting all over it like most people do. I'm talking to my Cancerian so I know you know what I'm talking about. People treating us like, you know, we're the doormats. But you know what? We treat ourselves like that too and maybe that's why... We're not getting treated like that this week. Maybe that's why this week we've taken on this badass energy of just like, no, I'm moving forward. I'm going to be cardinal this week and I'm just going to push through and you're not going to be able to shit all over me or wipe your feet on me. I'm not a doormat this week. I'm a bulldozer this week. This is very Taurian energy as, as well. This could be your Taurus breaking through, breaking through to you, breaking through to a Taurus, but it's very consistent, homebound, home-based, reliable, steady energy that it literally is something that, that is just, it's, 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 
It's, it's been building for so long. It's been happening for so long. It's taken so long. It's taken patience. It's taken tenacity, but it has finally arrived. And maybe it's arrived back home and back home is you, Cancer, you. Another card finally came out. Ooh, Eagle Spirit. This is us, 100% taking the lead. This is people looking to us to provide the wisdom and provide the guidance and be the messenger for spirit. This is literally us, Cancerian, being the messenger of God. I know that sounds really religious. Let me go back. God being that connective force, that unconditional love, being that messenger of this is how you do it, people. This is how you connect. This is... This is uh, in other words, people recognizing you as the leader, as the guardian, as as the forerunner in the protector. See, this is this is energy that usually has to do with the government or the military. But think about why the United States of America uses the eagle as a symbol, because it is first of all, it's, look at how gorgeous it is. Like it's an eagle. It's badass. It's so beautiful to look at. But at the same time, so a they're acknowledging your beauty and your value as you know, aesthetically speaking, Cancerian. But they're also acknowledging that you have that insight. You have that far sight. You have the messages that we want to hear. You have the ability to direct us. Eagle spirit, eagle totem is literally the spirit of the gods, the voice of the great spirit. If you know anything about Native American culture, eagles are so imperative to their belief systems because this is messenger of the great spirit. This is great spirit's eyes on the rest of us and sort of carries messages between the two of us. So in other words, Cancerian, you're taking on this, this, this conduit role this week of being that messenger between what it, the, the, the messenger of the possibility of what is the ideal and where we are and how we get to where we want to be. You are definitely who people are zoning in on this week, Cancer. If there is a week to take a risk, if there is a week to take a chance, do it this week because all eyes are on you and it's good stuff. Honestly, I don't think that you're even going to have to take the risk. I think that you're just going to keep moving forward and making progress this week and people are going to finally realize it and notice you. This is saying, in other words, this is saying spirit has noticed you and recognized you for quite some time. Koala is a very slow moving totem, very slow moving energy. They basically hang out in a tree all day eating which is also a very Taurus energy and B very Cancerian energy. So this is something like this is knowing where you belong and being there or getting yourself to where you know you belong. Something that you've been working on a very long time. This is a breakthrough. This is in other words, this is pure spirit. And then this is the messenger of spirit, like bringing it down into reality. So this is a message of you're going to be receiving something that's been built up for you for a long time this week waiting this wait but it's it's not just something it's not just random it's something that you've been working on for a long time there's going to be a major breakthrough i'm going to try to pull one more card and see if if anything comes out over here Ooh, cancer i just got this big old feeling of relief <laughs> like whoa 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 Oh, I love it. I love it. I just feel like, no, that's too much. That's way too much. It's way too much. I'm like, I'm just saying it's, 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 it's way too much. I want to, one more card. One more card for Cancer. One more card for Cancerian. For Cancerian, the week of October 1st through the 7th, 2019. One more card. 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 I'm nervous. So this is Libra card, okay? This is basically a sign and a symbol that's saying you're getting, your your you are, okay. Yes, you are the conduit of peace. You are the conduit of the spirit message this week. 
You are the deliverer of the love and the unconditional love and abundance. But no, beyond that, that that's true. Yay. Um, but also, this is spirit sending you down gifts. This is this is Libra season, and Libra season is going to open itself up for you. The doors are opening up for you, Cancerian, during Libra season. Somebody extending you an offer that will give you a great deal of peace. Somebody extending you an offer that you thought would never come in. Somebody extending you an offer that you did not believe would ever exist ever. So somebody extending you an offer, finally it coming into fruition and in love. In other words, you being showered in unconditional love you being showered this is literally you the the door like doors opening up for you and the light shining on you this this week there is going to be a big breakthrough of of just something that's almost been held up and backed up for a long time and i don't necessarily know exactly what that is because it's is a general reading. It could be many different things for many different people. This is definitely my Libra card because it's peace, it's balance, and it's also love. You understand? Like dove, it, a dove is a universal symbol of love, of togetherness, of, 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 so you are being sent a great deal of love and appreciation this week, Cancerian. You're going to feel it in your bones. You're going to receive it in all that you are. This is that conduit. It's almost like now the spirit is delivering you the abundance. Spirit is delivering you abundance that's been backed up and held up for so long. You are, this is literally just like blessings from above coming into you this week. I'm going to go over on um, Vimeo to, um, yeah, to expand upon this in terms of, yeah, I didn't show you the, hold on. So I realized that I didn't show you this view. And this is the card view, right? This is terrestrial breakthrough after working hard. Coming back home, this is us finding our heart space. Green is the color of the heart chakra too. So this is the heart, the, the heart of us, what matters the most to us, something that was very close to our heart, coming back around and finally being delivered. The message, the spirit has been watching us for quite some time. And it's slow moving energy. Koala is so slow. He's patient. It's like he doesn't give a fuck about time. Right? It's not that he hasn't noticed us, it's that he doesn't, it just took a long time. This is something, maybe a seed that we planted many years ago, but see, this is us. And this is what really drove in the abundance for us is that we didn't give up. You see that little crown that he wears on the tip of his head? Do you see that? Is he cute? This is knowing your self-worth and charging forward through any obstacles. This is breaking through. Rhino will bust down walls and break through. You have made a beautiful breakthrough. Finally, something has broken through this week. And you just keep on working because now you believe in yourself. And it could very well be that's the biggest breakthrough is loving who you are and not needing to be loved by somebody else in order to love who you are. And that's why, boom, love starts to come to you. What did I say to you over and over again? Excuse me. I'm sorry. That's a, hold on. Hold on. Yeah, sorry about that. So this is um, love finally coming to you. In other words, you finally realizing how beautiful and amazing you are and just going on and moving on, moving forward and not really worrying about what anybody else is thinking or wanting of you, but just believing in yourself and just keep on stacking up those nuts, baby. You go make, get, 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 get in your nuts. <laughs> oh, I heard it. Yeah. Um, and then finally, this abundance coming into you. You are also the leader, though. You're the guide, like somebody really admires everything that you've done, but this is blessings being sent down to heaven from, for you, for you. And I really like to know exactly like who is coming through here, like what the breakthrough has been. You see this though? This is like divine energy. This is like air sign energy coming through too. This is very, this is, but this is during Libra season, you're going to take off and I want to know. I want to know more. So meet me over on Vimeo. If you want to know different times when this is all happening. This is definitely happening this week, but a little bit more in depth about what is going on. Meet me over on Vimeo for um, the tarot card reading as well as the a romance angel reading. Okay, guys, I'll see you over there.